In today's video, I'm going to show how to run an iOS simulator on Mac. When you're creating an app, it becomes really convenient to check the output real time side by side, something like this. So let's get started. For step one, I've opened the app store and here I'm going to download Xcode. The file is pretty big, so it may take some time. After the Xcode gets downloaded, we have to install it. The installation is pretty straightforward, just a couple of clicks and you're done. For the next step, I'm going to open the app and then I'm going to go to the top right corner of the screen. In here, I'm going to select the preferences option. We are looking for locations and in that, make sure that the command line tool is installed. If not, there will be an option to install it. For step four, click on open developer tools and select simulator. It will take some time for the simulator to boot up. Here, as you can see, the simulator has started and by default, it has chosen iPhone 13. Now you can very much change this simulator. You can choose iPhone 10 or 11, depending upon what you like. Click on file, then open simulator. Click on the iOS and here I'm selecting iPhone 11. Now, as you can see, I have two simulators on my screen now. One is iPhone 13, that was by default. Another one is iPhone 11. So I'm going to choose iPhone 11. After the booting process is done, the simulator is going to look something like this. Now for seeing the output, I'm going to first of all open the terminal. I'm going to navigate to the app folder by using the cd command. Then here I'm starting the expo by writing npm start. After some time, the QR code and the instruction for starting the iOS simulator is going to come here in the terminal itself. As you can see, it is asking us to press I from our keyboard to open the iOS simulator. After pressing the I, I'm going to open the simulator once again. Let me position it side by side so that it is clearly visible. Now on the terminal, you can see that it is downloading the Expo Go app. This is the app that we are going to be using for seeing the output. Now it is trying to install the Expo Go onto our phone. We don't need to do anything here. It's going to download and install everything on its own on the simulator provided. After installation is done, here I've got a message on my screen asking me to allow the access to the app and then open it. After the installation process gets completed, the app is going to open on its own and in some time the output is going to appear on the simulator screen. Now for changing the output, I'm going to open the Visual Studio. Let me position it properly so that it's visible. I'm going to start by adding some text and the output is going to change automatically without me having to refresh it manually. It becomes really useful when you're doing the app development. Hope you have found the video useful and it has helped you in your app development journey. If you have liked the video, please subscribe to my channel and like and comment. And since you have watched the video till the end, here is an inspirational quote just for you.